There's a man coming out here next that actually can blow the lid off of soap opera desks. Really? Yep, he's got his own daytime talk show, and he's got a brand new hard-hitting news program. He's America's most notorious investigative reporter. He's Geraldo Rivera. Welcome, everybody. I'm Geraldo Rivera. Up front tonight, a story so shocking it may become the Watergate of the 90s. An appalling tale of death and deception that's spreading faster than a sick joke from town to town all across our great nation, wreaking havoc with our very lives. I'm talking, of course, about soap opera death scenes. Now it can be told, well, sorta, that these so-called deaths have brought millions of unsuspecting Americans to tears are, in fact, a corrupt scam. We warn you that the graphic scenes you're about to see may disgust you. So please, call everyone you know and tell them to watch. Item Santa Barbara, California, as beautiful Eden Castillo dangles precariously from a cliff high above the Pacific Ocean. Her dashing husband, Cruz, has just one thought. Will this mean I can start dating again? Cruz tries desperately to grab onto his doomed wife, but unfortunately, his fingers, unlike his other body parts, are just too short. As curious gawkers look on helplessly, Eden plunges into the crashing waves below. Is this really the end of Eden? Now it can be told, well, sort of that these alleged victims are, in fact, all alive. And we have uncovered the evidence that will astonish you. Item, does this peeping Tom look familiar? Authorities would have you believe she's an out-of-work Avon lady. But witnesses claim she is, in fact, Eden Castillo, alive and well and totally dried off. Are these people merely ghosts coming back from the dead, or are they, in fact, Eden, Tad, and Reaver playing some sort of pathetic joke on soap opera society? And is it just a perverse coincidence that all three plunge to their deaths into bodies of water where no trace of their bodies could be found? Beats me. In the meantime, you can count on us to keep giving you the disgusting truth. And now, the winners can be told, well, they can be told after we bring out the presenters, and they are Lucinda and Roger, a couple of corporate dynamos who have more power than the Terminator and less scruples than Bart Simpson. From As the World Turns, Elizabeth Hubbard, and from Guiding Like, Michael Zaslow. <laughs> Even though your top three picks for best death scene in daytime soap were all water-related, ah, they weren't in any way watered down. So let's ring out a winner. There's Eden's fatal cliffhanger on Santa Barbara, Marcy Walker. <laughs> Reba's deadly plunge on Guiding Light, Kim the Kimster Zimmer. <laughs> and Tad and Billy's farewell plop on all my children, Michael E. Knight and Matthew Cole. <laughs> and the winner is the best death scene daytime, Eden Castillo in Santa Barbara. Oh, this killed me. Um, <laughs> this is really amazing. I would like to thank the editors of Soap Opera Digest and the fans, and Bridget and Jerry Dobson, my dear friend Mary Anderson for her love and support, and A. Martinez, I would go off a cliff for you anytime. <laughs> and uh, to all of you, thank you very much.